And what we're here for is to look for the alfalfa weevil. And I'm going to walk through here and just take a look at a few different areas and show you what the alfalfa weevil feeding looks like, what to look for, how to sample, how to structure your sampling, and what the insect looks like as well. Do is pick five different areas of the field. So we're going to work in this area right now. And what you want to do is pick a subsample of, I usually go with five plants per area. So in this area around me, I'll pick five plants, and from those plants, I'll pick the newest growth, the bud that is uh, not yet fully unfolded. Okay, here are five plants that I took from a, about a 10 foot radius. And what you can see is there's a range of damage, and this is partly to show you that why we don't, don't just look at you know two or three or even five or 10 plants in a field, because the more plants you get, the better picture you get of what's happening. This first plant here, there's no sign of weevil feeding whatsoever. Uh, these are perfectly pristine leaves, uh, no feeding, no holes, nothing. Uh, this plant, by contrast, is fairly chewed up all along its length uh, from the older leaves, more mature leaves were fed upon, all the way up into the newest growth, which is, is fairly tattered. And this one, similarly, is, is probably somewhere in between the two. There's some damage, especially on the newer growth. Here's another very clean one, and here's another one with light damage. So five plants per area from at least five areas in the field. More is always better. We'll give you more confidence in whatever treatment decision you make. Here is the little larva right here. Let me just unfold them and get them out. And they're going to be green, some shade of green, with a whitish stripe going along the back. See the white stripe there? There's nothing else that looks quite like them that you'll find in an alfalfa field little black head. Now this is a large one. This is near the end of its development and is soon going to pupate and become an adult weevil. Now this is the stage you're looking for though. You're looking for larvae. You're not looking for the adult feeding so much as you are the larvae. These are the ones that do most of the damage.